before diving into human rights, why are they important and relevant to hate speech? Last week we learned that hate speech is a violation of human rights. The first article of the Universal Declaration on Human Rights says, All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. Think about it. It captures the very essence of human rights and the basic belief on which the system has been built. Hate speech in essential terms questions exactly this fundamental belief by saying that some people, because of their characteristic, are not to be considered equal in dignity and rights and therefore can be mocked, can be restricted, can be threatened and can be murdered. Developing respect for human rights is a way of ensuring that the attitudes which drive hate speech are not allowed to flourish. Compass, the Manual on Human Rights Education with Young People, says poetically, Human rights are like an armor. They protect you, they are like rules because they tell you how you can behave, and they are like judges because you can appeal to them. They are abstract like emotions, and like emotions they belong to everyone and they exist no matter what happens. They are like nature because they can be violated, and like the spirit because they cannot be destroyed. Like time, they treat us all in the same way, rich and poor, old and young, white and black, tall and short. They offer us respect and they charge us to treat others with, with respect. Like goodness, truth and justice, we may sometimes disagree about their definition, but we recognize them when we see them violated. This poetic definition captures also our difficulty to sometimes explain human rights. Human rights are minimal standards that have been agreed upon at the highest level the international law for human life to be led in freedom, equality and dignity. They are based upon moral values and standards held throughout societies and agreed upon in international, national and local laws. Human rights are different from other rights because the only entitlement you, you need to have in order to claim your human rights is to be human. The basic values that stay in the basis of human rights are dignity, freedom and equality, as the first article of the Universal Declaration says. Because all human beings are born equal in dignity and rights, we cannot discriminate between them. A life in dignity presumes freedom to dispose of oneself and freedom to realize one's full potential. Other values that human rights are based upon are respect for others, tolerance, justice and responsibility. While this all sounds very abstract, human rights turn out to be about concrete life situations. This is why in most of the cases we talk about specific rights, for example the right to education, and not about human rights in abstract term. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights is an interesting document to look upon. It is the first internationally agreed upon by states part of the United Nations in 1948 document that talks about human rights and details more precisely what these human rights are. Looking at the document and the history of human rights, some characteristics of the human rights stem out. The first characteristic is human rights are inalienable. This means that you cannot lose your rights, because they are linked to the very fact of human existence. However, we should be aware that in particular circumstances, some, though not at all, may be suspended or restricted. For example, if someone is found guilty of crime, he or his liberty can be taken away. The second characteristic is human rights are indivisible, independent and interrelated. This means that different human rights are connected and cannot be viewed in isolation from each other. The enjoyment of one right depends on the enjoyment of many other rights and no one's and not one right is more important than the rest. The third and last characteristic is human rights are universal. It means that they are applied equally to all people everywhere in the world and with no time limit. Every individual is entitled to enjoy his or her human rights without distinction of race or ethnic background, color, sex, sexual orientation, disability, language, religion, 
political or other opinion, national or social origin, birth or other status. Human rights and their application evolves with humanity. Just think about the fact that the internet was not used on massive scale until the 90s. Nowadays, we question what are the human rights of internet users and what it means for hate speech.